Ajax were one half of the duo that had a starring role to play in last season's narrative. And winning here would certainly be a great start. Their expectations for this Super Cup are high, and rightly so. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. A serious game of the season, Jim. What do you think about it? Yeah, and it's a game that won't define your season, but it can be kind of rekindled some of the quality and, and the collective strengths that got these teams here in the first place. Another trophy gets you back in the winning groove, of course, Peter. And while it guarantees little, it sets you off with more success in mind. And I always think that's a, a positive vibe to start on. So it's down to business here. King. Has a pop! What a start! And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that. Absolutely brilliant, I wasn't expecting that. Jim, your thoughts? Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Whistle's gone, that's a foul. over the line gorgeous control there Ball. Who's going to get there? Ball through needs to be good here. He's got a goal! A real chance and a real let off. Ajax know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning.
was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. But very promising. Feiner just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. And the counter is on. Plays it out to the flank. Berghaus puts in a cross. No chance to break. Plays it long. Looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. Ajax scored early, of course, and it's 1-0. That intervention was very necessary. It's one! Oh, denied brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Stop from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Tries lifting it over. It's out for a goal kick. Well, that's where he wants it. He's gone, presumably, for offside. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Battles to win it back. Well, that's a foul, simple decision for the referee. Fair. Done very well to intervene. And that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Fair, over to the left. Good ball, chance! Blint. And the score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. King tries to get it forward quickly. Promising move, that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. 
gone for a throw in. And helps available out wide. Ajax get it back again. That's a throw. back and the finish that's it for the first half a breathless ending the team still separated by one goal but it should be very different well they show glimpses of some wonderful football to bring with the lead at half time and that's definitely pleased the fans i think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half ajax head into the dressing room pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead analysis to come during the break so we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. <laughs> Away from immediate danger. And that's been one straight back. to get it away it's a throw in gets into some space played into the middle and it's played forward looking to break out here Pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he goes anywhere near the ball. Found its way to him, receives it in a good position. That's surely a foul free kick. This is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. That's it, and now what? Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. He's got options out wide. As soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned.
Feyenoord making another change here. Ajax had a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. That's not going to make it. King. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. Blint. Chooses to deal with it himself. Ajax really are enduring a, a frustrating spell when it comes to trying to move the ball around the midfield. They, they lack the sharpness and urgency. A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them play. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Defending was strong and firm. Late back in. Chance to break. Berghaus. He's making good use of it. Great leap! That's a real chance missed. Well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. it out well, they can break here played out to the right can he deliver dashing forward at pace Balls out on the left now he's got away Efficiency of movement and certainty of outcome. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. Ajax take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Clears it out of harm's way. Now it's Tadic. Boy, sit forward. And now the breakaway. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Ajax have won it in what has been the perfect end to the pre-season. Whilst it's no guarantee of success when the new campaign does get underway in a week or so, it is surely a significant boost to morale. 
and a significant statement of intent. And now the moment, the ceremony and the presentation of the trophy to come, the very first trophy of a new season. So many more might follow, how many we will find out over the course of the months ahead.
Well, the opening day of the season is always special. The game is back, bigger and better than ever before. And there is a definite outpouring of hope, expectation. A fixture that had many rubbing their hands with glee when the list was announced. This derby on opening day. Strap in for the ride. Well, this is the scene inside the 54,000 all-seater Johan Cruyff Arena, decked out in that hugely familiar livery of the club that the great man himself, Cruyff, represented. been thrown in at the deep end on day one. Who would have thought that this could happen right at the very beginning? Well, both sides, I would imagine, Peter, um, would prefer a meeting uh, a few more games into the new campaign, but they've been thrown into the deep end, and pessimism is rife amongst both sets of supporters for the very obvious fear of getting off to the worst possible start. For us, though, it's an absolute whopper to call, and up where we are, it's all optimistic. There's the whistle. King. Plays it out to the flank. He's found his man. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And he heaves it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out to the right. Berghaus. Finds himself eased off the ball. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Kick. Forward it goes. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Done very well to intervene. Has gone out. Jens Tornstra with a fine tackle. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. Now a chance to break. Berghaus. It's a good fit in there. Oh, no question, that's a foul.
gets his foot in there. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. So he's sit forward. Ajax have it back, and they can go again. They back in. Oh, shooting chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Ajax know they can rely on the counter, and they've just expressed a warning. looked inevitable the defense dealt with that really well King gets the better of his man King gets good distance on it and here's the chance to counter played out to the right and it's got through Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. That's great strength on the ball. Well, the less said about that pass, the better. side yet able to find the net well positioned to make that interception well waited now it's Tadic Tadic time to deliver and the finish and it's played forward breaks on here Balls loose, who's getting there? Jens Tunstra. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And the counter is on. Berghaus. Lint goes back to base. It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Keeper and go again.
to get it forward quickly. And back to base. He's got options out wide. Well read, he sorted that out. And we've reached half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And shooting half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil miss. The second half gets on the way. Ajax playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Defected behind for a corner kick. Ajax have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Berghaus is short. Berghaus. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. has got good distance on that just brushed off the ball there looking to hit the front line chooses to deal with it himself and it's been taken straight back Played out to the right, Berghaus, beautifully done, a chance to play it in, and the shot! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Berghaus with the short one. It's a loose ball. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Feyenoord are taking a simple bot. Untidy challenge, free kick given. With a delicate ball. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Tadic.
Was there ever any doubt? Well, he always had the measure of the keeper there. Such confidence and composure. Feyenoord making another change here. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, that's their campaign well and truly up and running now. Berghaus. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? It's one! Now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. We've played it short. He's got away. This could fall anywhere. And that's been one straight back. Back into the middle. Shoots! Oh, that is rather wayward. There's going to be another change here. Swung in towards the middle. Feyenoord are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Has he picked him out? Surely. Oh, that's a fine challenge. This is good ball retention. And it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tadic. That's offside. Yes, it is. Ajax are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Keeper sends it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Fingers on the back foot. Five minutes left on the clock. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Feyenoord with a corner, and hardly any time left on the clock. Still going far. Has a shot! He's been off try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Ajax 
probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Blint. Taliafico goes looking. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Tries to dink it in. Good clearance and very necessary. Battles to win it back. He's gone for it! That's a half-decent try. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. This man has found this man. Lovely feet. Looking to get within range. And in time is up. And there goes the whistle. Ajax have their win on opening day. The season perfectly teed up. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, all those thoughts of really won't we have been turned into a, an opening day triumph, and, and fitness levels look bang on. Well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.
So this is it, Dutch football's biggest fixture, at least so far as domestic football is concerned, the nation's two glamour sides. Ajax and PSV, so dominant so often, repeatedly flooding it out for glory. However, there is more to this than meets the eye. Ajax, of course, synonymous with total football, considered by many to be the connoisseurs and the artisans. PSV, on the other hand, take pride in their pragmatism and workmanlike approach. All of it adds up to the suspense and the intrigue that we see in front of us now. And we are going to enjoy once more this truly intense rivalry. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So it's Ajax versus PSV, this one of the most enduring rivalries of the Dutch game and on so many occasions it has been the pivotal game in the Dutch season. I suppose, Peter, if you have to choose one game to watch in Dutch football, this would be it for so many reasons. A genuine contest between two sides that have been at the forefront of the game in the Netherlands and a rivalry that's increased in intensity over the last three decades sometimes eclipsing the more traditional rivalries that have existed. There's the whistle, and here we go. TSV started their campaign in spectacular fashion. Quite a statement of intent coming into this game. In it comes. Defending of the desperate variety. And the counter is on. Gets good distance on it. Deflected behind for a corner. Strong punch. Lovely feet. And this is already looking rather ominous for the opposition now, when a player of his calibre can open up the scoring so fantastically. It could be a very long match for that defence to prevent a recurrence. Oh, my goodness, that has ripped the rigging. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. Ajax are already ahead, the perfect start. Always when you score early. Just the goalkeeper goes for goal! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Takes it over to the other flank. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? There could be trouble here. 
And so now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Ajax looking to pull clear here. He'll fancy himself from here. King! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Forward it goes. And it's Tadic. Played out to the right. Hits one! Goes for goal! Goal! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? goals without reply it's 2-0 well they're very much the better team at the moment Peter and, and no doubt we'll be looking to to cause even more damage here it's come loose tries to get it forward quickly King it's got through to him he gets past his man In he goes again! I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Keeper sends it forward. And that's been one straight back. Now it's Sahavi. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Deftly done. He's in! Has a hit! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. down the flank Lings massive leap and it's there and already they're looking to run away with it a great delivery and a finish to match oh look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight and it's kept out by a 
a stubborn defence. Taliafico hoists it forward. Well, they could break here, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Battles to win it back. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Shoots! It's anyone's ball. Great football, shot and save. Ajax know they can rely on the counter, and they've just expressed a warning. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. PSV are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Good take, and he's had a look. Gets it back. His big chance! It goes to show he is human after all. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. He found his man. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Ajax, 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Speculative strike. And that is going out for a goal kick. PSV have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. It's into a dangerous position. And that's been levered clear. Now a chance to break. And it's played forward. King. Tries to stroke it through. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Very good battle there, terrific to watch. Tries to 
get it forward quickly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and neck. He's had a shot! No mistake! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Time for changes on both sides, actually. Ajax totally rampant here. Mario Goetze. Zahavi. It's a brilliant interception. And it's played forward. King. Saw that coming. Tadic. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. He's pinged one through here. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Finds himself eased off the ball. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Now it's Tadic. And the finish! In it goes! And still they continue with the onslaught. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. King. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Zahavi. Zahavi gets it out to the wing. Hoists it high. Looks to play him in. That's uh, a minor communications breakdown. Now 
Now it's Zahavi. Zahavi spreads it towards the left. In comes the delivery. No, no way through there. Well, that's where he wants it. Now it's Tadic. He has it out wide now. He's left his man. Keeper's ball. Good, sir. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. And that's that. Ajax very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they look like scoring. It is a landslide. Well, how will we look back on that? Ajax made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style. It's about pride, and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this.
England have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So that's got things on the way. Jordan Henderson. Foden. Foden plays it forward. Shaw. Goes to finish! Fence has got rid of that. Maguire. And it's played forward. Nelson Semedo. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Neves tries to get it forward quickly. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Hoists it forward. And back to the keeper. Bruno Fernandes. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Ruben Diaz. Guerrero. So it is still nil-nil. Ruben Diaz. Guerrero. Guerrero goes looking. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Now it's Sterling. Forward it goes. Bruno Fernandes. Ruben Neves. Gets it back. Hoists it forward. Juan Bissaka. And it's Shaw. And here's Sterling. And here's Kane. Turns and goes back. Goes for goal. Decent strike. Kept it fizzing low. Well, crucially, he ensured that the shot was kept low. And it nearly, nearly came off. Ruben Neves. Hoists it high. Now it's Kane. Kane showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Ruben Neves. Portugal keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Ruben Diaz. Guerrero. King. King! 
A real chance and a real let-off. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Tries to get it forward quickly. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Neves. And play for a throw. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. Now it's Kane. Now it's Kane. Sterling, out to the right. Bernardo Silva. Ruben Neves. And it's played forward. Guerrero. Half-time whistle. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Reflections on the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. Interesting half. Just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. The action is back on the way. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz drives it forward. King. Bruno Fernandes. Shaw goes looking. Here it comes. Bruno Fernandes. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Played back in. Ruben Neves. Demonstrating fabulous determination, he just will not be beaten. Sancho. Sterling is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, look, Peter, he can be a real danger, so that defence can't stand off and, and just watch. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Sancho. Sancho drives it forward. It's Kane! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Kane simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Better luck this time round. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. Henderson plays it into the box. Ruben Diaz.
Anthony Lopez sends that a long way. Juan Bissaka tries to get it forward quickly. He's through the middle. Chicane! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Time for a change in personnel. <laughs> Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Semedo looks to get on the end of this. Cristiano Ronaldo. Away from immediate danger. Guerrero. And it's Ruben Neves. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Nelson Semedo. Over to the left. There are a few what great lead! He's well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. <laughs> we have got changes here, from both sides in fact. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Just brushed off the ball there. Portugal are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Hoists it forward. Sterling. Oh, that's nice. That's great strength on the ball. England probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Bruno Fernandes. He's through, now is he in? Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And time is up. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, but that was enough. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. My thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.
Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. got the juices flowing and now this England have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are the key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullback, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. Got things on the way. Alexander Arnold across the field it goes. He's got away. Oh, smart save. James Rodriguez, Sanchez, Luis Muriel desperately wants to get on the end of this. Sure. And it's Muriel. And now the breakaway. It's Muriel! That comes as a mighty relief. King doesn't get the pass he's looking for and here's Sterling gets the better of his man here's the ball in They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. He's gone for it! Oh, both starting the game at a pretty decent tempo. Cleared away. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm.
Shaw. Space of plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. take the lead 1-0 yeah and they know there's plenty of work left in this one Peter before they can actually say that the job is over King Sterling goes looking hardly anything between the sides and the score is 1-0 Rice King. Lobs it in gently. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Looks to bypass the midfield. Rice. Foden, King, King, Sanchez to play it forward, Rice, and here's Kane, Now the counter. Well positioned to make that interception. Oh, good interception. And here's Kane. And here's Sterling. James Rodriguez. Sanchez gets it forward. Forward it goes. Has a goal! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Lewis Muriel really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Rodriguez goes short. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Tries to get it forward quickly. Foden. Sterling. Sterling drives it forward. Crowd calling for him to shoot. All the balls come loose. And it's half time here. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now can they protect it? England are going to have the lead in a half time, 1 0. So we're already into the second period. England carrying a one-goal lead. Goalkeeper's ball. 
hoists it forward. Shaw. Foden. Kane. He gets past his man. James Rodriguez. Cuadrado. Sanchez. And it's played forward. Now it's Muriel. Rice gets it back. And it's Kane. Now it's Sterling. Kane. Big chance! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Colombia are making a change now. Foden. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Kane. Sterling. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. It's a loose ball. Defending was strong and firm. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks to thread it through. And it's hoisted clear. Sancho is the guilty party there. Colombia are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that's going to be a booking. He's beaten the keeper, but hit the post. Chance to locate someone up front. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And it's Kane. King! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. In with the challenge. That's a foul. Super decision for the referee. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. What a throw in.
Well, that's where he wants it. Colombia are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Foden with a delicate ball. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Stones. Hoists it forward. Rashford. Oh, he's, at... he's had a shot! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. Well, that was all about the quality of the ball, wasn't it? It couldn't have been placed any better. Out to the left it goes. Colombia have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. by a lack of accuracy. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. That will be the final act. England, hold on. It's a narrow sweep. Good luck, some judgment. One nil the score at the final whistle. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. Well, thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.